Good morning, everyone. It's Melody Lane here. And we have a lot going on today. As you can see on the screen, we have a hint of what's going on. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I'm going to be in Utah for the big Cricut announcement. So I'm really excited. And this picture was shared by Cricut today. It's right around the corner. That's all we know. This picture is all we know of what's coming up. But I will be doing live videos from the event on YouTube and probably on Facebook. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel, click the big red button, and then click the bell. So you get notified every time I go live because it's going to be random. I'm going to go live as much as I can to show you guys as much as possible. There's going to be a lot of people there. Anna Griffin's there. Leah Griffith is there. Uh, Beth Kingston that she's always, she's with, um, she's on HSN and a whole lot more people are going to be there. It's really exciting to find out what is happening. This is the only hint we have. I don't know anymore. Hello, Joan and Bobby and Catherine and Lynn and Janice Johnson. You made it. Thanks for coming. Uh, Janice, have you been to bed yet? Because usually when you're here, you haven't been to bed yet. Hello, Sue Ann Matthews. And Carol's here. Yay. Thanks for coming, Carol. Carol is also going to the cricket event with me. We're sharing a room in Utah. Click on her face there if you're watching the live event, like this live video right now. You can click on her face, go to her channel, and subscribe to her too because she uh, it will also be doing live video from Utah. She might have different videos than I do. We might go live at different times. So check her out. Subscribe to her. She does cricket videos. She has lots of cricket projects. Um, we are here for Design Space class. So if you're watching the replay, we will be... Back in just a moment. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. Okay. We're also gonna be announcing the winner of the Bright Pad and uh, Weeding Tools. So I will announce that winner in just a minute. The winner. I did have a video, I had it up for like two weeks for you to enter. All you had to do was comment in the video and you were entered. Um, and thank you guys for liking the video. Thank you for all the admins in the video, Bobby and Tamitha and uh, anyone else who is here. Jamie's not here yet. She'll come in and say, oh my gosh, sorry I was late. Uh, she's not required to be here, but she just always tries to be here. Uh, she's on a different time zone, so she's usually sleeping. Um, and what else? Are you guys ready to find out who won the bright pad? I did record myself finding the winner. Uh, do I have any idea on what the one in the Houston will be debating on signing up? Okay, for those of you that don't know, the cricket event, there's a big cricket event in Utah, Salt Lake City, Monday through Wednesday this week. I was invited to that, so was Carol and Ken's Creations and Lori Newtomaker and Anna Griffin and a bunch of other people were invited. And so we're going to show what's going to be happening there. We're going to do some making and some crafting and some things like that with whatever the announcement is about. And then other people have asked on Facebook, they want it in their city. They want to, they want Cricket to come there. So Cricket heard you. And so they're going to five different cities. Now the other cities are just, um, I think four hours of crafting. So they're going to be different than what we're going to. You might be doing some of the same things we're doing there, but it's not going to be, the exact same thing because we have a reception party and we're having a 50s party, a 50 themes party, Saturday, or not Saturday night, Tuesday night at the event. 
So they told us this just last week for about the 50 things party. So dress in the 50s. So I don't have time to prepare for that. So I'm dressing in the 50s as a person from the future in 2017. That's my costume. I'm sorry. That's all I got. Okay. Are you guys ready for the winner? Um, let me see. Yeah, that gray screen that you see that says it's right around the corner, that's the hint from Cricut. Okay, is everything good? You guys, most of you can hear me and see me. Okay. You guys are awesome. Do you want to find out who the winner is? Let's do that now. Okay, this is my YouTube, and I use TubeBuddy, and I just pick a winner, and drum roll. Okay, it's choosing a winner. Kayla Maydox! Maydox? She has won. Um, please comment below that you won. If you don't comment below, I will get a hold of you and get your address. I need your address. You can email me at melodylanedesigns at gmail.com. Um, and I will go to, I need your address to give to Cricut. Cricut will be sending out the bright pad and weeding tools. They won't be coming from me. Cricut sponsored the giveaway. So they're gonna send it to the winner. Okay. Yeah, you guys can't see me. I'm not in the video. I didn't have time to get ready this morning. I was very busy. Got up at 7.30 and I've been working ever since. Okay. Now, let's get into design space. Let me hide that. So now here's design space. I... I kind of have trouble knowing what to show you guys because I don't know. I know how to do just about everything in design space, so it's hard to know. And I've done videos on just about everything. So I try to ask people in my Facebook group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane, what do you guys want to see? And a lot of people say slice and contour and what's the difference of weld and attach. So I post the videos that show all of, all of those things that they, because I show that in like a hundred videos. So I'm going to be showing that a little bit in this, but one person asked a question. Let me, I think I have, where's my mouse? Okay, let me go over here to my other screen. I'm, I had some questions. If you guys have questions, please put them in all caps, but first I'm going to go over this question. Questions, okay. No, that is different questions. Hmm. I can't find where I put those questions. But it was a question about, um, she's doing sticker paper. She's doing a thing of stickers and she wants to put words on it like a description of the stickers, but she doesn't want those cut out. And every time she does it, it cuts those out. And she didn't know how to do that. So I'm going to show that. And so many people want to make stickers. You can make any stickers you want. And my suggestion is to use sticker, is not to use sticker paper, is to use printable vinyl. Printable vinyl is much more like sticker. Hi, Brandy Jones. So I, I prefer that. That's just my preference. I prefer the printable vinyl to use for stickers. I think it's awesome. The printable, um, the printable sticker paper is great, but it's cardstock. 
So it's great to use for things that you're going to put on a card or in a scrapbook or something. But in my mind, a sticker is not cardstock. So if we're talking sticker sticker, we want to use um, the, st the printable vinyl. And to start out, we're just going to make a shape. And it just started to pour down rain. Okay, um... Let's say, let's just work with this for now, this size. And we're gonna make it white. Okay, and to do, let's do more shapes. Let's pretend we're doing, we're gonna unlock it, make it a different shape. We're gonna pretend we're doing planner stickers. Okay, so I'm going to make this just a little tag thing. I'm going to hold down my shift key while I turn the rotation. Tammy Nicole, I see your question. If you could copy that question and paste it a little bit later after I show this, I would love to answer that. But that's completely different than this, but that is a great question, so please keep that for later. Okay, so I made this triangle smaller. I'm not measuring anything. I just use this little arrow thing and just do what I want. You guys, I, I don't always do things perfectly, but I can just copy that and align and center vertically. And that will keep these completely even. So this little point here is in the exact middle. So I centered vertically. If I were to center horizontally, it'll go right into the middle. But I'm just going to undo and put it back to where it was. Okay, so I'm going to put a box around both of those. And I'm going to go down to the bottom. We're going to slice. This is a question many people have, even though I show it in almost every video. So... We got them both selected. We only have two layers selected. There's nothing attached, nothing grouped. Slice. That is how you slice. So easy. And now, I don't need these pieces. Can you guys hear that rain? Oh my gosh, it's bad. Okay, so we have this. So we're going to make a sticker of this. I'm going to make it a little smaller. I'm not actually going to move it over yet. I want to make it, you know what, I'm going to duplicate it first. I'm going to hide this one just so I can bring it back later and show you something else. So this one, we're going to duplicate. That's at the top. Um, you know what? Let's see. First, I'm going to make it print. I'm going to show you a few things first. So, and I'm going to make it a pattern. Um, let's do, let's do this one. I'm going to have to edit this pattern, I'm sure. This is the first time I've used this pattern in Design Space 3. So it might take a while to come up. There we go. We're going to go down at the bottom while the patterns are still up and click edit. And see, it's just repeated the pattern of the... That's actually kind of pretty, though, because it's so small. Oh, I think I like it. I think I like it like that. Or maybe even more. Okay, let's just try it like that. So I could duplicate this. I could, let me move this one out of the way. We're going to come back to that one. I'm going to show you something else. And align, let's just align to the left. 
so they're all straight. You can set those over here now. Um, we can't leave them like this. If I go to make it, I'm going to show you what happens. That is not how we want our sticker paper to look. So this is something, if you're not sure what to do, if you're not sure it's not right, click make it. Please, just click it and see what happens. It is not going to hurt anything to make it and then go back. So if I wanted a full sheet of these, move that out of the way just so I can select it, I would duplicate this. It's taking a while to duplicate, I think. Or maybe I didn't have them all selected. Okay. But you can attach them. and then duplicate, I think. And that's not working. I don't know why. Okay, let's copy and paste. Well, that's not working either. I think because of the print thing. Well, let me show you what else I was going to do. You can also flatten them. That will probably work better. So flatten. So flatten brings it down to one image. Okay, my duplicate button is not working. All right, let's try it with this one. That's not working either. I wonder if it's because I'm streaming live video. If I never had it not work before. Hmm. Let's save this. Okay, let's go to projects. Oh, look at the cake. Mermaid cake topper. Let's click this. I'm just going to replace it. Okay, cancel this one. Oh, customize, not make it. So it goes here. Okay, now I'm going to go to my projects. Go back to this one, open. Let's see. The duplicate is still not working. Let me refresh it. I've never had that work or not work. There we go. I just had to refresh it. So like I could put these here put those there and keep duplicating or flatten these all together and duplicate it all together. Um, but let's do just some plain color ones. We'll do some purple and duplicate that. Let's align those, align left. Um, we want to print these. I can flatten these. Now, we have them placed where we want them on our paper. Like we want this cut out and then we want 
this cut out and we want these all printed. So what's going to happen if I click make it? That's not what we want, but remember, I never has set this to print. So let's cancel. Now let's set this to print. So now we have everything set to print. This is hidden, so that's not even here. Now you guys, I know the correct way to do this, but I'm showing you not completely correct things, because this is asked so many times and I think this is what people are doing. So I have it all set to print and I want the big box to cut out with these to cut out on top of it. So I wanna click make it. That's not what I want. So just always click make it and if it doesn't work, then go back and try something else. So let me duplicate this just so we are here. Um, so I'm gonna move this white box. I'm gonna go ahead and flatten these all together just so they stay together. I'm gonna put this box here. You can align it and all that, but I'm gonna select everything and now I'm going to attach it. So these boxes will be cut out. Let's click make it. So now you can't see that white box. Let me just for the sake of this, let's change the color. There. Now you can see it. So that will be cut out like a sticker page like that. Now her question was about she wants to add some text. So uh, let's just make up some text. Okay, I can't type. Thank you for your purchase. Let's say she is selling stickers on Etsy. Hopefully she types better than I do. And now, if you want to do writing on these, do not make it a writing style. You must make it like this. Okay, we're just precious. Okay, I can't spell it all. I know how to spell it. Oh, there's lightning, thunder. Just not. Okay, so she does not want this cut out, but we want it to print on this white paper. So we're going to... This is all attached together. I'm going to detach it because I don't want to flatten it with these tags here. So we're going to detach. The send this to the back. So we're going to click Arrange, move to back. Select those things and then I'm going to flatten. Now by flattening the text here, it will make it stick to that. It will only cut around the square for now if we keep it as it is. So this will not cut out each layer. Now let's go back and I'm going to show you something a mistake people do. We're going to unflatten it. So let me take this. It's already printed because it changed it to print when I said flatten it. Let's attach it to the back piece. Okay, because that's what you do. You attach the writing. If you want it to write on a card, you attach it, correct? So let's just do that. Well, I don't see the bleed around it. You should see bleed around it. Do I have the bleed on? I haven't really done this since. Don't want it mirrored.
There's the bleed. Okay. Oh, I can't tell. But attaching the images to it, it will cut out each letter. I Well, maybe because it's set as one image, it won't. Okay, now I'm confused. Why is it not doing the mistakes it always does? Let me ungroup this. Okay, then select it and attach. Then make it. I'm trying to make the mistakes. Maybe they fixed that in this design space. Do you guys remember how that would be so blurry and it would cut out each letter? Well, that's what the problem she was having. It was cutting out each letter. So what you have to do is select all that and flatten. Send this to the back. And then attach those so they will cut out individually. Um, Myrtle is asking about she can't print and cut using a printer's dialog. That is a problem on a Mac right now, and they're working on fixing that. What is flatten? Flatten changes it to print, and it flattens it as one image. Do you see in the layers panel, these tags are flattened. They're just all flattened together. Let me detach them. They're flattened together, but they're two separate images. If I select them both with the background image and flatten, it makes it one image. So this will print, but the only thing that will cut is the square. These will not because it's flattened on it. Let me bring in an image with layers, and that might help you. This will just be really quick. Joan, you're so funny. No first aid needed because there's no bleeding. Okay, let's just bring this in. What is the difference between attach and flatten? Okay. Um, so let's get rid of this for now. So this dragonfly is grouped together. Let's ungroup it just so we can uh, explain this. So if I were to select it all and attach it, attach makes it all one color so it cuts out all on the mat. It will cut out just like this. So this background that was black will now be cut out. Everywhere you see a black line is a cut line. So let's go to make it and see what I mean. So it's going to cut just like that. Everything will be the same color and cut exactly as you see it there. So let's hit cancel. Let's hit undo. Okay, so now flatten. Now let me show you something too. I can take this and I can change the color before I flatten it. So select that and then see the layers panel, see how they're all separate. I'm going to click flatten instead of attach and all the cut lines go away and it will print this and only cut around the outer layer. So if we click make it, that's what happens. Yes, Lynn. So because I attached the stickers, they will cut. If I would have flattened the stickers onto that back piece, they would not have cut out. So the stickers themselves were flattened together, but they were not flattened on the back piece. Yes, yeah, so Janice, it would have cut the background too.
Belinda, nothing is set to cut, but it will cut. It cuts everything it prints. If you're having a problem with the print and cut, uh, go into my design space group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane. Uh, uh, there's people that we go through problems. You can use a Sharpie on the lines. You can turn down the lights. There's all kinds of things you can try to get it to work. And if it does not work, sometimes it's the ink in your printer. Sometimes you don't have it on best quality or you just got to call Cricut support. Print and cut should work for everybody. Yes, it cuts it all after it's printed. Now, say I wanted to make little butterfly stickers. So I could, let's see if this works. Yeah, duplicate, it's working here. Let's align these, oh wait, let me spread this out a little. Align, distribute horizontally, align, bottom, guess spread these out more, probably there. So I'm putting one here and one here, and then I want the rest to be distributed evenly. So we're going to align, distribute horizontally. Still too close. Align, distribute horizontally. Okay, now they're not touching, and I messed up their things, so let's align top. So now they're evenly in a row. I could flatten those or attach them at this point. It doesn't matter for that part. And duplicate. So if I wanted a bunch of stickers to be together. Then that is it. If I want them to go across, I would have to make them not so long like that. I'm using an iMac. Thanks for sharing my group, Bobby. Yes, the possibilities are endless. Thanks, Tamitha. Um, so do you guys understand the difference in flatten and that? Um, and I showed you like how to make planner stickers, how to add writing to them and make them not cut out the words, you have to flatten it to the background. Um, let me go over that again. Unlock the lock, make this big, say I want a sheet. I'm going to change the color just a little, a little here. Let's do this. I just don't want it white. Send it to the back. So you guys can see it. Arrange, send to back. Okay, now if I set these off and flatten them, these butterflies will not cut out. I have to set this to print. So I'm going to set the background, it's this one, to print. So now that's set to print. You can see in the layers panel it has a little printer. So now I'm going to select them all and I'm going to attach it. So those butterflies will cut out. And then the square will cut out. So say I wanted to make this little sheet of stickers to hand out to my friends. Uh, Belinda asks if you choose more copies and hit apply and put them all on one sheet or separate sheets. It'll put whatever it will fit. Oh, this is too large. Wasn't paying attention. Okay, let's make it small for now just to see. Okay, so we're going to add, we want three. We're going to hit apply. 
So yeah, it puts it all on one. Now, if I were to fill up the whole sheet on the canvas and it only fit one per mat, it would only do one per mat and would make as many mats as it needs to fulfill your project copies. There's Jamie. Uh, Sandra's asking if you want to do print and cut heat transfer vinyl, do you flatten? It depends on what you're doing. If you have printable heat transfer vinyl, you can just change it to print or flatten it. You just It just depends on what your needs are. Thank you, Debbie Gates, for the super chat. That is awesome. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. So it just depends on what your needs are. If you're just doing... Um, let me get another image. Well, that's already a printable one. Let's do the B. So if I just wanted to make, oh, I clicked that too. If I just want to make a t-shirt with this on it, I would do, I would flatten it to make it all one image. Does that make sense? But if I was doing text and say, hello, and I want that on a shirt, oh my goodness. If I just wanted this on a shirt, I wouldn't need to flatten it because it's all one image as itself. I would just change it to print. And then we're ready to cut this out of heat transfer vinyl. Does that make sense? I don't have my other cameras set up to be not on the screen, so printing them. Um, if you want to see something print, here's I did in a video. Okay, where's my mouse? To bring it to my other one. Let me bring this up. Okay, here's me printing this. I did last week. So this is the new print and cut. It's reading the square around it. And all that image is all flattened together. So it was a cut image and now it's flattened. So now it's cutting it out. And this had bleed around it in the black. As you can see, the blade is not cutting on the white, it's cutting in the black. So there's no whiteness around the edge. And I showed this in a video I did last week. Thank you, Michael. Your joy is contagious. Thank you for all your fun crafting videos, ideas you have given me. Thank you. I appreciate you for watching my videos. Cut it out perfectly. So see, there's that cut. And there's that all cut out. Um, Jody doesn't understand how the pattern on the stickers will appear if the cut if cut on plain vinyl. You have to cut it on printable vinyl, and you it sends it to your printer. So that little clip I just showed you, that paper was sent to my printer. I took it from the printer, put it on a mat, and uploaded the mat. 
You will, Kiona, thank you so much. She says, thank you for all you do. These classes are so beneficial, and I hope you never get tired of what you do for us. We love you. Thank you, Kiona. I love you, too. You have done that so many times. Thank you. I appreciate that. So you, the print and cut, you have to send it to your printer. Your printer is not hooked to your Cricut. It is hooked to your computer. So if you can print from your computer, then you can use print and cut. Bleed is usually automatically on. You don't have to add it. Bleed sh cuts it so it's right inside the white line, so you don't see any whiteness around. That's all it is. You always want to cut with the bleed on, I think. Yes, you can print words without attaching it to the background. And I saw somebody wanted me to redo the hello, but I'm not really sure why. I just typed in the words hello and changed them to print. So you click right here on the little printer or the scissors, and you can change anything to cut or write. You can change it to write or score. I can have hello scored or to print. And then if you want patterns, there's the word patterns right underneath the print. And then you can do anything you've uploaded as a pattern or the Cricut patterns. Where are the Cricut patterns? These are all mine. Look, I can change it to Ken Hess. Okay, we need to edit that. Where's, oh, this thing came over here. That's in my way. I need to bring it back over here. Okay. Click the edit. No, that won't work. <coughs> so we'll see if Ken Hess sees this video with his face in the hello. But with a bigger image. Let's do it here. Oh, that's flattened. Let's unflatten it. I can select just part of this, change the color, change it to a pattern. Am I getting off track here? <coughs> that's all my digital paper I've uploaded. I don't know where my Cricut images are. Cricut patterns. Oh, I have to go to collections down here. So I want to edit this so his face is right in the center. So I'm going to edit it horizontally. Let me see if that moves it. It's not moving. I think it takes time. Connie Loring, thank you for the $5 super chat. All right, let's just see if this... I couldn't get it to move, but there... There's Ken on a little B. Brenda Rays, thank you so much for your generosity. Thank you for your generosity. Okay, now somebody had a question earlier and I told them to save it. It was about words. And I don't remember what that question was. I think her name was Tammy. Oh, and we have 335 people watching right now. You guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel because if you just joined in, Cricut is having a huge Cricut event I'm invited to, and they have a big announcement, and I will be sharing that live on my channel if you're subscribed. Brenda Rays, thank you. Uh, you cannot do Super Chat on an iOS device. As of yet, if you're on a computer, you just click on the little uh, dollar sign. Uh, Tammy's having a problem. Her sticker paper does not go through her printer. The sticker paper is kind of thick. I suggest using the printable vinyl. It's not as thick, and I prefer it much better than the sticker paper.
Um, if you want to do stickers and leave them on a page, what settings do you do? I just leave it on the page. There are no settings. I just do exactly as I showed in the video. Gloria, Glory is asking, what is Super Chat? Super Chat is a way for people to donate to creators. Um, I don't really get paid for doing these videos, so the Super Chat helps. Patreon is also a form that people pledge to me on Patreon uh, and get perks in return for me doing videos and helping and trying to do as much as I can for everybody. That is the way that I have um, been able to do this full time was originally through Patreon. Janice, thank you so much. Janice says, thank you, Melody, for all that you do. I love you. I love you too, Janice. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. And so we're just talking about Patreon. So before I go any further, go ahead and put some questions in, and I will try to answer those questions right after this. Here are a few shout-outs to a few of the people who support me on Patreon. Jane, Sally, Joyce, Judith, Joyce, Catherine, Carrie, Shannon, Bridget, Deborah, Janet, Karen, Terry, Brianna, Rose, Nala, Diana, Angela, Angela, Kathy, Melissa, Sue, Sharon, Tommy, Patty, Deb, Jacqueline, Deborah, Patty, Cheryl, Deb, Barbara, Amy, Luann, Debbie, Stacy, Christy, Dolores, Rourke, Clara, Anita, Tanya, Carol, Robin, Tracy, Dawn, Ellen, Karen, Bridgetta, Connie, Ellen, Pam, Kimberly, Susan, Jill, Shelly, Tammy, Christine, Tabitha, Susan, Catherine, Brenda, Karen, Brenda, Lisa, Jennifer, Janine, Rena, Sue, Kathy, Victoria, Arlene, Lynn, Ashley, Aisha, Misty, Liz, Jennifer, Laura, Chris, and Catherine. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys. Thanks for that. Um, Lynn, that's what I was showing you to have the stickers cut out. But not... Um, let me unflatten these. Unflatten. Okay, why is it un not unflattened? Okay. Because I have it selected. Hmm, it says it's not flattened anymore. To deselect it. Oh well. Let me just add some stars. So we want a sheet of stars. So okay, I'm not gonna go through all this again because I just did it. But um well, let's add two more. Okay, say we're doing that and we're doing words. Whoops, wrong button. Stickers. Okay, say we want words on here. We don't want the words to cut out. I'm going to select the words and the background piece. The stars are not selected. If you look over here, you can see that word is selected and the background piece is selected and I'm going to flatten. So now these words will not cut out. The word stickers will not cut out. The letters will not cut out. Only this big square because I flattened it. So now if I send this to the back and these, I could just change these all to print or it's just easier to click flatten. They all change to one image and change to print together. If I were to select all these and flatten them, none of the stars would cut out. But if I attach them, they will cut out. So now these stars were cut out, but the word will not, and the square will cut out. So I hope that answers your question.
Connie's asking she wants to make stickers to put on our stuff for a show. No text. So text. I don't really know what you mean. Like you can add text if you want or you could have no text. You make it anything you want. Let me see if I... How can you attach text to a sticker? You just make the text and select the text and the sticker with the text on top of it, select them both and click flatten if you want it printed. Bye Jerry, have fun doing laundry. The word is just printed on the background. Yeah, you can put words on the stars. Superstar, let's align this so it's centered. Let's make them the letter spacing shorter together. Let's pick out a better font. Oh, that one might just be it. Yeah, I think that's a writing font. Yep, I gotta change it. I don't want writing. Let's change this from writing. So right here, the style is chosen writing. Oh, I gotta change the font before it'll change. Okay, regular. Okay. Uh, let's just quick do this one. Superstar. Okay, say it with me. Superstar. Let's do line spacing, letter spacing line spacing so they're closer together but actually with this one I think I would click advanced and I would ungroup to lines that means each line will be separate so I can change each line change that one superstar so if I select this so the text is selected, the star is selected, and click flatten. This will print out as it'll cut around the star and print the star and the text. Does that make sense? The stickers, if you put that you're using printable vinyl, it will cut like a kiss cut, like vinyl does. If you use the printable vinyl or printable sticker paper too also does that. So like you could duplicate this and make this, you know, your stickers. I would size it first and then duplicate it. The machine automatically knows to kiss cut when you have it on a vinyl setting. I don't know what you mean, how do we make them on stars? To do Super Chat, if you're on a computer, click the uh, dollar sign at the bottom of the screen. Um... Window cling, you can't print on, but you can cut window cling. Oh, Jeannie Tinsley, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. You are a superstar, love, love. Thank you so much.
Kiss Cut is like on vinyl where you it doesn't cut all the way through the backing. So you pull off the backing and the backing is not cut, but you can take the stickers off. Hi, Vanessa. How do you get the text on them? I just showed how to get the text on them. You just place it on it and then flatten it. Yes, it prints it on the printer. Were there any other questions? It's been almost an hour. There was a question about text earlier in the video and I can't remember what it was. Yes, I made money for Utah. I'm going to have to take an Uber from the airport. Well, I, I'm i going to be with Sean and Ken and Carol. All We get into Utah about the same time. Carol's from coming from Canada. I'm coming from Florida. Ken and Sean are coming from Washington State. So we're coming from all really far apart. And we're coming together at the same time. Thank you, Renee. Renee says, new to your videos and love them. Learn so much in this one session alone. Thank you. Um, so I do these videos every Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. I have, I think, eight other videos that I have done. So you'll learn a lot just by watching these videos. Although I, it's not as fun to watch when you're not live, but I do leave the chat in, so the chat is there. So if you get bored during the video, you can just read the chat. If you use print and cut on printable vinyl, will it run or wash off? Uh, Lori Nunemaker did it once, and she put it on a mug and put it through the dishwasher, and it still lasted, but it faded some. But after time, it will fade. The printable vinyl is not made to be put in the washing machine. It's more made for things that you're not going to be washing. Thank you, guys. Yeah, we might get into trouble in Utah. Who knows? Thank you, Sally. Have a drink on me. Thank you. I'm going to have to buy everybody a drink with all the money you're giving me. Thank you, guys. You guys are all so nice. Okay, Linda, that I think is the question or close to the question that was earlier. How to edit text after you have written something and you want to change it. Okay, let's, let me see if I can detach, unflatten. Okay, so I have this word. You can see this is all one word. This word has not been changed at all. It has not been welded. It has not been ungrouped. All I have to do is double click on it and I can change the text. Now, if I were to save this and come back, it's the exact same thing. But if it's not changing for you, it could be because it has been ungrouped to letters or you clicked ungrouped here or you welded it, welded it. <laughs> Before you weld anything, I suggest to duplicate it. You click this button up here. Then you can just hide that. Just hide one of them. And then let's say, let's, let's ungroup it. We want to put the letters closer together.
so they're more touching. Okay, so say we want to weld this. Weld this at the bottom now. So now when I double click on it, I cannot change it. It changed, it transformed it from text into an image. So you cannot change it now. There's no way to change this unless you undo. But if you saved it, so now it's not welded anymore. But then we have to undo it. Okay, get to undo it back. Okay, so I can click each letter and change the font. So if I really wanted to do that, I could like do that. Change it to a balloon font. Um, but you cannot change it as a word because it's been ungrouped unless I keep going back. Keep going back and back until there before I ungrouped it. Does that make sense? Thank you, Jamie, Bobby, and Tamitha. Thank you, Ashley, for becoming a Patreon. Amanda, you missed almost the whole video, but good news is you can watch it from the beginning. And if you guys haven't seen the little hint from Cricut, whoops, let me go back here. There's the hint that Cricut sent out in the email this morning and a sheesh. Excuse me. Oh, had to sneeze. Sorry. Uh, she shared that on Facebook and I shared it on Facebook. That is our hint of what's going to be announced at the Cricket event. And make sure you subscribe to my channel to get uh, all the updates of live videos of what it is. As soon as I know, I'm going to share it as soon as they let us. There is no reason to weld something before printing. You would want to flatten it before weld. There's no reason to weld. Yep, after you ungroup, you can't change it. I mean, you can change each letter if you're desperate. So have I helped you guys today? Answer me that. Thanks for all the bless yous. Yes, I am here because you guys are here watching. If you guys were not here watching, I would not be here. Uh, Monday, I they haven't told us when the big announcement is, but we're going to be at a cocktail reception party thing where Ashish is supposed to be speaking. 7 p.m. Utah time, that's mountain, mountain time, 7 p.m. Monday night. I don't know if I'm allowed to do live video then or during the event. I think I am. So we'll just find out. I will unless they say no live video right now. You know what I mean? Unless they tell us no, I'm going to do it. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate all of you for being here and uh, your questions and inspiration from you guys is how I do these videos. And those super chats do help out a lot. So thank you. I'm so happy, Lynn. All right, guys. I think that's it. It's been an hour. And... um. If you guys want have some specific questions, answer them in the comments of this video after the live is over. So in the comments, ask questions, and I may use those for later um, classes. Maybe I'll do a random 
comment like I picked the winner for the bright pad. If you missed that, go back to the beginning. It's pretty much in the beginning. Uh, so the winner for the bright pad, it just randomly chose a comment. Maybe I'll do that for the comments here. I'll randomly choose a comment and then show it on screen and answer those questions. That would be fun. Do you guys want to do that? Thank you, Joan. And I will see you guys mon Monday. I might even do some footage from the airport, or from the airplane, or, you know, things like that. I probably most definitely will when I get to Utah and see Ken and Sean and Carol. And Lori Newmaker is going a day early, so she'll already be at the hotel. So we're going to try to share as much as we can with you guys. So make sure you subscribe to me and Ken's Creations, Lori Nudemaker, Carol Prevo. We're all going to be hanging out together and doing some videos. Uh, Debbie uh, is asking, do all the layer letters need to be touched prior to weld? If you want them all cut as one image, like I can weld these, but they're just going to be separate letters, so there's really no reason to weld them. But if you want them to cut as like, you could like peel it off as one piece and one word while all the letters stick together, then you have to move them closer together. No, we're not bringing our crickets. They said to bring a 12 by 12 piece of paper that we love to craft with and a representation of something we love. That's all we have to bring. And uh, something like a laptop or iPad or iPhone to use DS with. Thank you guys so much. And I will be back doing another live class next Saturday at 11. Thank you guys so much. Bye.